this is why I bought this. <laughs> I mean, I could go way, way, way. I, mean, I, I could pick the whole mower off the ground. That's not my intentions. I cut the fuel off and the oil's just sitting back here. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. The valves are up front. So actually, nothing is preventing this mower from going all the way up because it's fuel injection for one. It ain't gonna flood no carb and the fuel's off. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what I did. This is the third hoist I had. I bought two off Amazon and they made me mad because of junk. So I went and bought the better one at Harbor Freight and I knew what you're going to say. Don't say it. Because they got good stuff too. I paid more. I mean, it was just, I don't remember. This one was, it's a Fisher one ton. Has a little release to go all the way down real fast. There's a Beaver. Just like my shortening. And it picked this thing up like it ain't even on here. And then I just used a strap that's, you know, rated to lift it. It has little hooks you can put the hooks through. But what I did, I just, and again, watch. I mean, it picks, uh, I could go all the way up. I know I could. That thing is so high quality. It's double the price of the other one, so I said I'm just gonna get a better one. But look, look how easy it is to change my blades now. I mean, <laughs> usually people has the jack stand a little bit up, but look. I mean, this is way up. I know you can't tell <clears throat> on camera. But it's up to my chest, the front end. So, woo! Let's see. You want to see under there? I still keep it pretty clean. I mean, there's a few little chunks. I bent my turbo baffle when I wrecked it, remember? Down that hill. I meant to buy a new turbo baffle. And I have not yet. That one's bent. I was thinking about taking it off and trying to straighten it up. I don't see no difference in cut, but the baffle's all the way up my rear roller somebody's arguing about saying how that helps striping and i said it don't come down far enough to do nothing i don't know why he's arguing with me look at this look at this you see the deck you see those rollers barely come out the bottom but you know they're going to stripe striping's bending grass if you put those things all the way down to the ground almost yes but as you can see there's gaps in the middle and on the side the other one's the same way so i don't people's i don't know why do you want to argue about nothing these decks you could take these scalp rollers off with steel stripe i mean what are you talking about but anyway check <laughs> yeah boom really boom. also let me share another little thing that i do with y'all i don't do with y'all <laughs> Oh, Dirty Filter even said he, he, he called me cheap. Or what did you say? Because you said you've never seen nobody do stuff like this. Like, for one, rotating trailer tires. Nobody does that but me. I rotate these tires. Do you see how much thicker it is on the outside still? Well, I turned it around. It was wore on the outside, and the inside was real thick. So instead of just wearing out one side completely, I just take them off. And turn them other. These, you know, straight, but the outer ones, see how pronounced that is on the outside to the end? Because I rotate them. It's just what I do. You can do all of them like that. Save you some money. I was looking at Spartan and stuff, because they're the only ones that can get a big block. So I might get that standard, I don't know. But they got pneumatic tires, don't they? That sucks. I don't want pneumatics up front. Anyway, see how easy now I can get up in here and just grease it real easy. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Using my DeWalt and my Saker Quick Connect. Grease it, then there's one grease point in the very back. Nobody greases. Wait, well, you can't see it from here. And then it's safe enough to get up under there, raise it up higher and freaking change the dang hydro belt. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make life easier on me. I'm gonna change the hydros in this, the pumps, 
not the pumps, the freaking, uh, I'm gonna change the filter and fluid for the hydros, right? Again, and I'm gonna hook up on these lift points on the back. You see those holes on the back? Those are tie down points or lift. And I'm gonna lift the back end up when I start to move it forward and backwards, you know, after you fill it back up. So that's even going to help me on that. And then I can lift it up and put jack stands under it and then change the uh, filter and everything up under there. The belt. Again, jack stands and this. And you're fine. And if you're paranoid, the wheels are locked. This thing won't move. You could also put another strap around the top to the front. If the back ends up with all more weights back here, of course, you can put extra straps on that this mower does not weigh more than this gantry can pick up all right and plus if you keep half of it on the ground you're only picking up this thing weighs like what 1600 pounds i don't know so i've got 800 pounds up like it ain't nothing <laughs> it's not even half a ton pick the whole thing up which i know it'll do uh i'm still a couple hundred from under load capacity so now you can always get a, a four ton gantry I chose this one because I wanted it. I don't want a bigger one because I would use a bigger one. It's a man thing. You know, the more weight you get, the more you're going to test your limits. And I'm down here by myself all the time. Well, I've all you know, as in just me. <laughs> I'm ready for coats. There's coats everywhere. Anyway, so I didn't want to push my limits and I wanted to use it for the lawnmower. And then like I said, I can back my truck and pick stuff up out of the bed of the truck and stuff. So, yep, this is what I like this for. And that's why I bought it. They walk behind. I'll just pick it straight up, pinch off the fuel line, cut the fuel line off and you can pitch it off if you want to when you take the oil out of it. And then I'll just lift it up and I'll make a video of it just hanging and I'll change the blades while it's hanging. There's some needle bearings under here. What the? Some needle bearings for something. Yeah, so I'll just lift that thing up when I... <laughs> that one I could lift up too. That one's for sale, by the way. Eh, give me 65. It's worth more than that. But the dealer, all of them said 65 and 6. One dealer went low-balled me and... Huh, I don't think so. He said $5,000. That's insulting for that mower. So I'll just buy my next mower straight out or sell this one. If I don't sell that one, I'm keeping it. I don't need to sell it. I just need another big block for my business. Well, I should go ahead and change my blades and stuff, but I'm busy right now and I'm wearing my nice shoes. So I can demonstrate, demonstrate it going down for y'all. If, if you wanna watch it, just keep watching. Da, 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 da. The reason I got this, the freaking last one, I got this mowered about right here and it just stuck. So I had to take a block and put on a jack and lift it up so it sat there all night like that till I went to Northern Tool or what you call it and bought that today. And then when I got back, I said, let's see what a twice as good brand does. Look how smooth. Look at this. Look at that. See, that's why you buy good stuff or more expensive stuff. Because in this world, you literally get what you pay for. And there's back up and down. There's some way to click this to where it'll go all the way down, but I ain't doing that. I might have to read the book. And yes, when I get power down here, I might get electric one. The reason I bought this one, because I've always have a backup, no matter what. Even if your electric one quits working or power goes out, I'll just put another trolley up there with this one. Ain't no big deal to have two trolleys. Uh, that <laughs> I got it stuck in the thing. I just wanted to show y'all me using it a little bit. I've talked about a gantry so long, and I finally got it together. And finally picked up my mower all the way. And back on the ground she is. 
how smooth she is. This is a lift strap. This is made to lift. I don't know if my application would be the safest way to do it. So what I was going to do next time I lift it, I've got two of them. I'm just going to wrap two of them around right there. Or I bought a thing for engines and transmissions to level it. Where's it at? So I could actually use this. You know, I did have a this right here, my best friend slash brother that I've grown up with. Still has my uh, this, this lift right here. The same one, actually. So Jeff, it needs to make its way home. I want my lift dag on it. You've had it for uh, two years, three years, th over three years. He, I'm not kidding. Ask him. I wish he would type. He watches. Yeah, you better be glad I love you because if not, I'll come over and kick your freaking hind in. I want my lift. <laughs> I need it. A little thief. I'll kick his butt. Hopefully one of the day he'll come over and we can go out and have dinner. Freaking all he does is work. But anyway, that's what I bought. Do you see what you do? I can do it use it on the gantry. And it'll level it. It's got a bolt run through there. And you turn this crank and it'll move it left and right. Depends on what weight's favored on the engine or transmission or you can use it for this application too. I'm gonna put hooks on it and lift the skag for, you know, it's safer. That on the gantry crane, not on the, the cherry picker here. Cause I don't have one because Jeff's got it. That's why I don't have one. So if he ever brings it back to me, I'll use it here. But yeah, that thing would make it easier cause I could just level this out and make it. And it's chains. These things are rated at four, th six, four. I don't know. Let's see if it. You always got to look at that. As a choker, here we go. As a choker, 5,200 pounds. Vertical, 65. Basket, 13,000. Oh, God. One of these is more than enough. Because that's how I'm doing it, is basically like a basket. I've got it doubled. Yep. So that means if I put this other one on here, I'll have over 30,000 pounds of force holding it. This chain's more than enough. And again, I might just put a backup hoist on here or just a hook on the trolley. You can just not put nothing on it. And then hook another, just for safety. I mean, but what do y'all think? Are y'all thinking about getting a gantry crane now? I know y'all are, if you got room for one. This will go up to 12 feet. I've got it set at 10 last time I looked because you see the sides are 12 and we're nowhere near about two foot. In the middle of this place is 15 and a half feet. So we got her set on 10. I learned how to lift it. It's so easy to lift this gantry crane. I'm very happy with this gantry crane. They still might be on sale on uh, Northern Tool for $700. It's called Strong Way. They have one usually built in the middle of the store. And like I said, I almost, I almost bought the uh, four or something. And then it wasn't that much, much more money. So it ain't like it was, I didn't buy it because I didn't need it. I'm sure one day I'll be like, what didn't I buy the everybody does that because then i could be picking up my tractors but see that's the point why i didn't get it i have no business doing that here <laughs> unless well if somebody's here with me to help me you know because you never know what happens you never know so safety first i could go buy another one of these tomorrow if i wanted i'm just not i'm very happy with this this one no complaints it does literally what I want it to do with lawnmowers for safety. It does that in spades or aces, whatever the saying is. All right. And I'm getting ready to start washing my cars and everything. It's it, We've been getting 60s here this winter already. And I got a lot of, I'm going to detail this, my best friend in the world behind me. I've got some accessories to add to him. I bought a uh, lockable bed cover. 
I might do a review on it. It was pretty good priced is why I bought it. To make it lock and safe, because the only thing I've done to it is put sides on it and I've put a uh, bed liner, which was, that was, what, a thousand dollars or something, eight, nine thousand something. And I got some more mods to do to it. Little stuff. I'm not messing with my new truck. I like that thing the way it is. I thought I might level it, but I'm gonna wait till them tires wear up before I do anything. All right, so there's the gantry crane. It's easy to lift stuff. It's safe to lift stuff. If you have the room in your garage, which I've never had before, but I, you know what I did have? A paved driveway. I, you could just leave it. People leave these outside all the time. It's just bolts. I mean, the bolts will rust. You could spray it with a, a the stuff I've been telling people about forever to spray on your hedge trimmers. People undercoat their trucks with it now, I've noticed. I never even heard of it. I just looked it up. You know, whatever it's called, spray it on there and it won't rust. You just spray all the exposed and scratch parts. But anyway, that needs to be 16. Oh, I didn't know I was going 16 minutes. Peace and chicken grease. <laughs>